Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to look at several different gunpowders here. I'm going to give you guys some characteristics of them, some information about them. So anybody that's new to reloading or anyone that's just looking for information on gunpowder, hopefully this is helpful. But um, what I wanted to show here is different characteristics of some powders based on weight, volume, and burn rate. So if we look at weight, you see I've measured all these powders, at least the pistol powders here, out at 5 grains. Uh, and then over to the right here, I've got a uh, rifle powder at 22 and a half grains. So five grains is a, a good reference as far as a load for pistol cartridges. Usually it's around five. You can see just when we're talking strictly volume, you can tell there's definitely a difference in the volume between say the trail boss and the unique and the tight group and the accurate number seven. Um, when we look at something like a flake powder. So the trail boss here, it's a flake powder with a hole in the middle. The idea behind this is it's somewhat of a replacement for black powder because it's aimed at, you know, 45 ACP, 45 long Colt, 4570, stuff like that. Say a 45 diameter case, you're gonna put a good amount of powder in here. So with the trail boss, 5.2 grains is what I'm using behind a 230 grain bullet. That takes up, I'd say about 50 to 60% of the volume of the case. Whereas if I was using bullseye, whatever charge I was using at that, I don't remember what it was, less than 5.2 grains. It was, a, it was a very, very small flake powder. I mean, it was maybe taking up 25% of the volume of the case. So what a lot of people like this for is um, it's pretty difficult to get a double charge. Because if I were to put basically 10.4 grains of this stuff in here, it would be really close to overflowing the case. Um, Unique is also kind of similar because, you know, it's a, a larger volume powder. It's a slower burning powder. And then as you get into tight group is still a, I'll give you a good look at these. Tight group is still a flake powder. You can tell Unique is definitely a flake powder, right? It looks like little flakes, little discs. Um, so you've got, these are just smaller flakes. Now with the accurate number seven, this is actually where we step into ball powder. So these are just spherical little balls. And then of course the uh, Power Pro 1200 is a spherical as well. You'll see there, it's pretty fine too. Now, <clears throat> it's not quite as fine as this accurate number seven. I mean, that's like real, real fine stuff uh, to where this is more along the lines of, uh, you can tell it's, little balls, but um, as far as, you know, we've covered weight and volume, going back to volume, if I look at this tight group, this is what I'm using for nine millimeter. So my current recipe is 3.6 grains of this stuff behind a 147 grain bullet. So it's very easy to double, triple, maybe even quadruple charge loads because this is taking up a very, very small amount by volume of the case. Like I said, I'm not particularly worried about that, but some people are, and that's why they choose to use something like Trail Boss or you know another powder that's going to uh, use more volume inside the case. As far as burn rate goes, I mentioned earlier that I would talk about that. So the burn rate is just what it sounds like. It's the rate at which the powder burns. Trail Boss is pretty fast. There's a, a chart that Hodgden has online where it'll list uh, some commonly used powders and kind of where they rank them from fastest to slowest. So Trail Boss is up there at number 19, basically meaning it's the 19th fastest burning powder on their chart. Uh, Unique comes in slower at number 31. And then over here at the tight group, we've got, that's actually faster than the Trail Boss. So that's number 14. Accurate number seven is significantly slower at 51, which is kind of where you would start to see uh, some rifle powders come in. And then uh, this last stuff, Power Pro 1200. It wasn't on the chart, but from the research I did, comes in around 77, similar to Reloader 10. So by nature, the pistol uh, caliber or the pistol powders are going to burn faster than the rifle ones. Just one more thing to mention here when I talk about the volume. So if you look at these two bottles of powder, obviously the plastic container is exactly the same, but you'll see the Trail Boss has nine ounces in it to where this uh, H335 is a full pound. So obviously one of them is bigger in volume. Let's go ahead and light these up. I'm gonna change my exposure 
on here because you'll see on the plates there that uh, I actually had to reshoot this because I had the exposure too high. You couldn't really see the flames as well. So I'm gonna back this all the way out. Here's the tool I'm using to do this. Um, I've taken all the necessary precautions here in case this goes south, but what I wanna do is give you a good look at the difference between the burn rates. I actually already did this. Like I said, it's a re-record, so I, I know what I'm gonna see here towards the first time I did, I wasn't sure. I've grouped these together because the trail boss is gonna burn that's number 19 versus the unique is number 31. So we'll see a little bit of a difference there. Let's go ahead and light them up. Okay. You can see a slight difference there. You can see it leaves a little bit different residue. Let's go ahead and look at these guys. So the tight group versus the uh, accurate number seven. We're gonna have an even wider variance here. So tight group is number 14 and accurate number seven is 51. So a 14 versus a 51, this is gonna be a significant difference. So if we light this up, that goes pretty quick. The accurate number seven, yeah, much slower there. Like I said, that accurate number seven is gonna look similar to a uh, rifle powder. I'm gonna pan the camera up here because with the amount of powder in here, it's gonna burn a little while. The 22 and a half grains is the actual load I'm using for a 223 round behind a 55 grain bullets. We'll go ahead and look at what this is like. So you see that burns for a little while. So you can definitely tell the difference. I mean, if you think about how fast that trail boss went up uh, in the first part there, uh, or even the uh, tight group, I mean, those went up immediately. Of course, there's not as much powder to burn, but still, uh, you can tell that that rifle powder is definitely burning at a slower rate than these pistol powders. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. But thanks for watching.